If your engraving is coming out slanted or some parts are wavy or italicized and the others are not, most likely it's an encoder strip or cleaning issue. Let's take a look. This video pertains only to the Mini 18, Mini 24, and Helix Legend series, Epilogue Laser. Again, this is pertaining to logos or engraving that is coming out skewed, italicized, or wavy in parts of the table. The issue may be of one or four parts, but this is the optical linear encoder strip, one of the most common parts. It either needs to be cleaned or replaced. This runs the length of your x-axis and has holes for insertion in the x-axis carriage. The other part that might need to be either cleaned, reconnected, or replaced is this white ribbon cable. This thin white ribbon cable runs the length of the x-axis. Here's the part number. And you disconnect it with a quick connect on each end of the x-axis rail. This is the x-axis rail on a helix, which is about the same as the Mini 24 and Mini 18. It runs the width of the unit, and the x-axis carriage is covered up by a blue or a gray hood here. With the machine unplugged and powered off, I'll show you how to remove the cover hood. The screws only need to be loosened. You don't have to take them all the way out. Here is the backside view of the x-axis rail. We have the ribbon cable. We have the x-axis reader board. The x motor is over there. And then we have the thin ribbon or the uh, x-axis Encoder this is strip, then right white ribbon cable that is connected to the reader board that sends data through over to the x axis motor. This is a closed loop servo motion system, and so these parts need to be maintained and cleaned for optimal operation. As we discussed, if you get italicized or wavy text or logos engraving, then the problem is most likely in one of these four parts in this x axis motion system. Here are some general principles or guidelines to look at if you're getting some x-axis issues. One, this is the air assist tube, that coiled tube. That is what delivers air from the compressor to the lens assembly. If that is bunched up or stretched, then that can cause an issue as well, maybe binding up. Also, this thin white data cable or the x-axis ribbon cable that is placed or positioned under these clips if you are missing clips or it's pushed too far uh, back into the rivets, that might catch on those rivets in this tray. So be sure you have adequate motion system of this lens assembly across the table. So you wanna be sure that's moving smoothly and it's not getting bunched up on one side or the other. Now, as we mentioned, the most common problem is simply cleaning the linear encoder strip. And this linear encoder strip needs to be either cleaned or replaced only with some clean water and liquid detergent, diluted and cleaned with a soft Q-tip or rag to make sure we're not damaging the encoder marks on this strip. This strip is actually mounted behind or is held in place by some screws and a long x-axis guide rail and an aluminum bar or rail along the full x-axis. So to remove or replace this encoder strip, you would have to remove all of the screws that are attached to this rail and this is the rail, so that comes off nice and easy with all those screws. 
Here I have an encoder strip laid out. FYI, it does not matter if you install it on this side or, or this way. It does not matter. In fact, to troubleshoot it sometimes, if you're getting engraving on the right side incorrectly, you can flip this around 180 degrees and reinstall it and see if that'll fix the problem. This is the X-axis reader board. The thin white data cable here plugs into this portion right here. It's installed over there. That data cable is what carries the data as the reader board is straddling or reading the encoder strip. You want to be sure that this is blown out and cleaned as well as the strip and that the data cable is making a good connection. If you're getting a wavy text, sometimes you can fix the issue by disconnecting the end here and then disconnecting the end here, switching it or flopping ends, reversing ends, and that might fix an issue. Or simply clean it, disconnect it, and reconnect it, or replace it. And that goes for either the board or the ribbon cable, as well as the encoder strip. I'm going to show you an example of a removed x-axis rail so you can see the back end clearly. This is a modular unit that comes off of the system from here, but this unit has all of the holes where the screws go that attach the bar that attaches the linear encoder strip to this rail. So the linear encoder strip goes in here and then the bar screws it down to hold it in place. So here we have our x-axis rail. This is a rail I have removed. You don't have to remove your rail to install the strip. This is what it looks like if you have it removed. This is the back side of the rail showing the X motor here. And this is where the thin white data cable connects to. So if we were going to replace or clean it, we can take the encoder strip all the way off. And then we'll put it back on, and that's going to go right behind the belt here. As it spans the length of the rail. So once we have our encoder strip put on with our screws, it's going to look just like this, the length of the excess. Here's the screw. The strip stands just above all the way down. If you've decided to clean that, you can clean that with a Q-tip and some liquid detergent and some water. And then this is the part where you want to be sure you disconnect and reconnect for any issues there. And then this is your reader board. You want to keep that clean and make sure your x-axis is not hanging up. And also make sure your ribbon cable is set not to catch on these pop rivets. So as that's moving back and forth, we don't want this ribbon cable to catch on that pop rivet because this might be pushed back too far. So once you've got clearance of that, that'll be a clean, full setup. Here's our x-axis reader board our data cable, reading the encoder strip right here. And that's what we want to keep clean. For more specific instructions, go to your training.epiloglaser.com training suite. It does require a login, but if you'll go to your training suite, get logged in there, you'll find instructions for laser training down to mini helix, over to system care and maintenance. And then when this opens up, it'll show you the care and maintenance section. Talks about cleaning the optics, lubricating the bearings, and then replacing or cleaning the encoder strip. In this section, it'll give you the tools needed. It'll also have a video that steps through the process, as well as a PDF that you can print out these instructions for your operator.